What was the thing that you weren't expecting going into the Olympics, race-wise or, you know, Olympic Village or otherwise? I think uh, the awe factor. Um, you know, the the warm-up track was located about five minutes walk from the Olympic Stadium, and obviously everyone's pretty much using it. And a thing that I, yeah, I probably underestimated was the awe factor of meeting these, these big athletes. Um, you know, I, I haven't been on the Diamond League circuit. I haven't seen these guys before. And I am a fan of the sport. So when I do see Chariot or Ingebrigtsen <laughs> or yeah. even like Oli Hoare and uh, those guys, yeah. it's like, I haven't, I haven't seen these guys warm up. So I'm, I'm fascinated in seeing what they're doing too. So yeah. I was a little bit too much of a tourist, I think at the start, um, you know, soaking it in too much, but uh, you know, that's, that's one thing I would have taken back. And maybe that, yeah, I don't know how I could have prepared for that, but um, that was one thing I probably was a little underprepared for was like, just like being in awe of these guys. Like I remember I'd finished, I'd, I didn't make the final and I was like, okay, is what it is. What I want to do now is I want to prepare myself for the future world champs or the future mm -hmm. Olympics. And what that meant for me was, all right, go watch the, uh, the 1500 final and see how these guys warm up, get it out of your system. Yeah. So I did, I went to the warm up track and I was, I was just a tourist. I was just loving it. I was watching Jakob Ingebrigtsen with his entourage rock up and do his thing. <laughs> and I was watching Stewie McSween warm up over there in the dark. I was watching Josh Kerr sit in his chair. I was watching, I was watching everyone. <laughs> I was just getting it out of my system. I didn't want any surprises for the next time, you know? So and just, ima just imagine in 2024, there's going to be like half the field is going to be new people and they're all going to be watching you and they're going to be like, what is this guy, Charlie Hunter? What's he doing? What's he doing in the warm up, man? I'm, I'm about to get rocked by him out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So who who uh, when you're observing people warming up now I'm now I'm just curious, like who who runs like who do you notice notice running like pretty fast for warm up or like pretty slow or like was there anyone that did something like, like super weird they're like what the or, heck yeah, like yeah. what is this oh without a doubt Jakob Ingebrigtsen he runs really doubt. fast right yeah uh, so I got a good story like I, I can break down his warm up to a T oh was, let's hear it <laughs> yes uh, yes it was sick uh, so you had the warm up track but then you also had an air conditioned room like a indoor soccer field. And that's where each country had their own like little warm up area. And the Norwegians had a treadmill in there. They were the only country to have a treadmill. <laughs> so they brought a treadmill in to do their warm up. And he, I'm outside and watching everyone warm up and he's like late. Everyone's like, I was looking to see where he was because there's nowhere else you can warm up. And he rocks up like 20 minutes later so he must have done like a warm up in there on the treadmill. Oh, okay. And then he comes out and he legit has an entourage. He has like his coach, <laughs> he has the physio, the masseuse. I think Philip was there. And, um, you know, he comes out in basketball shorts, tatted up. He's bigger than I thought. Like he looks like a linebacker. <laughs> he's running in lane eight, just like an absolute boss, just crushing. Like, I think he was running 345s, did a couple <laughs> laps and like does some stretches whatever and he just i think he just like he just like every, he demands respect or like everyone just automatically looks to him he's just got this like presence about him yeah he did some like up tempo thing and i think he cut it short so his dad was stressed out he kind of like went to go see what was happening and he finished it off shortly later and did some strides and put on an ice vest and went in but like that uh, for some reason, his was like stood out to me as like very unique. He was, <laughs> he was just in control. He was in control, and 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 so he should be. He's been doing this for since he was what, like twelve? Like yeah. he's been on this level for so long. So yeah. it, obviously, it's not new to him.